Okay, so, Pong Slip. Oh, wait, I forgot my beer. Hold on. Do over. <clears throat> Very bad. Okay, so, Punk's like, you know, Twilight, I love working here and I love all this food, but I think I put on an extra two cupcakes and a marshmallow in the old ass region in the last year, if you know what I mean. And twice all, are those real measurements? Look, I'm not the type of punk who gets in a funk about a little junk in a trunk. I just don't want to look like Mrs. Cake when I'm 40, you get me? Then stop eating chocolate. It's not chocolate, it's X-Lax. My diet's like 90% refined grains and dairy. That's fucking gross. Anyway, we're back in Pony Paradise and Pinky's come to the Bolts HQ to give Dashie her first ever. Congratulations on making it a whole three weeks without being groped by Fleetfoot in the shower's pie. And she's all, good job on not being molested. Eat up. And Rainbow's like, Pinky, first of all, a pie seems like the least appropriate food for that event. I, I figured soft tacos would be worse. And second of all, she got me last week, so the counter's only at eight days and I can't accept on technicality. Well, I needed to stave off the the post-traumatic stress. Why would you throw the pie away instead of just sharing it with the rest of the Wonderbolts? I mean, we know Soren takes his pies extremely fucking seriously, and even if he doesn't want it, I'm sure Fleetfoot could probably use a bite to eat before she goes out for a night of disemboweling hookers in the back alleys of Manhattan, or whatever she does on weekends. And so, poor pathetic Pink Punk coming across her cast-off confection treats her pies in pans as jilted lovers treat their pies between thighs. Gathering evidence as to why her goods are no longer wanted and seeking to catch the offending party in the act of betrayal. Dude, what the fuck is this shit? Look, I'm all for indoctrinating the pony children early and teaching them to worship the glorious astral god empresses, but as a stalwart Luna fag, I demand equal representation for my patron princess. Poor Luna. The disparity in the amount of attention she and her sister receive is exceeded only by the disparity between the size of their Asses, look at that. It's like two cantaloupes next to two guitar picks. Anyway, Ponkers quickly discovers that Dash has been giving away her pies and gummies. So, hey man, maybe she just don't like your bacon and she's just trying to not hurt your feelings or something. And Pinky Soul, God damn it, Gummy, do you really expect me to believe that Dash would construct and maintain a years-long charade this elaborate for the sake of someone else's feelings? No, there's gotta be something else going on here. But what is it? Look, I'm just throwing ideas out here. You don't, you don't gotta get all snippy with me. I'm, I'm sorry, Gummy. I'm just, I'm really emotional right now. It's all right, Pinky. I always got you back. I just don't like seeing you get all stressed out like this. Now, it is possible, Gummy, that Dash just generously donates pies to Cheerilee's class. And it is possible that she threw out that pie the other day on a technicality but there's only one way to find out when was the last time fleetfoot molested dash in the showers was it last friday or three weeks ago whoa, whoa. don't play coy with me spit roast this is a private investigation but i can have the friendship police up in this bitch at the drop of a dime and fuck your shit up whoa look i'm not trying to hide anything fleetfoot rapes us all on a regular basis can confirm but never dash and why is that because dash never uses the shower she hates washing. Also, Pinky's eye looks like a giant zit here and I want to pop it. A picture's coming together here, Gummy, but there's more work to be done and it may require some subterfuge. Pinky, just talk to your friend and be honest. I don't like what this whole thing's doing to you. I don't like it either, bro. But this could be bigger than my integrity or pride. Man, it's fucking filthy down here. You got all this old food stuck to the walls. I think the mold spores is giving you some kind of psychosis. Ugh. Look at the way that custard wobbles and jiggles. Even to me, that's fucking obscene. Ugh, who thought this was okay? Ugh. 
Gross. So Pinky hits Rainbow with a pie onslaught, yet Dashy deftly distracts her and ditches, destroys, or otherwise disposes of each one. And Ponker's all, I don't get it, Gummy. I thought it was something about my pies in particular, but I've changed up my recipe a dozen times. I've ordered ingredients from completely different suppliers. I've racked my brain and searched the stars for something I might be doing wrong. And as for fillings, I've tried blueberry, boysenberry, lemon meringue, custard, peach, banana, cream, chocolate, the strawberry i know for a fact that rainbow doesn't hate all those foods it's like she just hates pies but i mean what is a pie gummy what is a pie but food baked into a dish it doesn't have to be fruity or sweet you can have meat pies pot pies potato pies vegetable pies and we sure as fuck no dash doesn't just hate food so what am i missing here what is she hiding and what separates a pie from just a dish full of food she hates washing the crust is rainbow for obvious reasons <laughs> And so Pinky's like, I figured it out, Rainbow. I know why you hate pie. You need to wash your cooter. What? It's the crust, Rainbow. To anyone else, it's delicious, flaky pie crust. But to you, it's just a painful reminder of that chapped, yeasty agony between your legs. You have a crusty cunt dashy and you need to take a shower. God damn it, Pinky, my cooch is none of your business. You made it my business, dashy. You made it my business. So. Rainbow's like I feel terrible and twice all well you have been lying to her to all of us actually and I'm like you know Twilight you are one of my favorite little marshmallow horsies and I have loved watching your journey from friendless dweeby nerd girl to much beloved princess purple giga nerd girl over the past half decade and I adore and respect you immensely that being said shut your fucking face why are you trying to make this about you anyway after some hemming and hawing Bluefast finally knows what she needs to do and she's like pinky I'm sorry dude I only rejected your pie crust because it reminded me of my crusty pie and I'm sorry I let my terrible hygiene fuck up our friendship like this. And Punk's all, bro, I just don't get it. Why don't you shower more? It takes like 10 minutes. Man, my whole life was always about being the best flyer and getting in the Wonder Bolts and I never thought about anything else so I just skipped showers and had swamp ass all the time. I thought it didn't matter but now here I am. All my friends are disappointed in me and I'm covered in filth. Sounds about right but at least you achieved your lifelong goal and you're successful. I mean, if you were fat, socially awkward, and unemployed, and you didn't shower, that'd be a different story. God damn it, Dashy, just promise you'll start washing your gooch and I'll forgive you. Are you gonna, like, check or something? I'll have Fleetfoot check. I guess she would anyway. Now come on, you stanky girl, let's get you cleaned up and I'll make you a nice big cream pie. 